okay we are back this is the seventh video and the uh, pair PHP extension application repository video tutorials brought to you by imagination everywhere and Ria Institute uh, RIE Institute I am Amin Mojara and we're going to continue from the last video on correcting the errors that I made uh, with installing the pair packages and um, we're gonna go ahead and just do everything right this time so we're gonna go ahead and reinstall uh, WAMP server I'm gonna do that right quick reinstall WAMP server And that's going to install our PHP uh, MySQL and Apache server for your, for those of you who don't know. Okay, we got that done. We got the WAMP server done. What we're going to go ahead and do is change the configuration to put it on the right port that we want it on. And then we're going to go ahead and install We're going to go ahead and install pair pair on our system. So we're going to go to our WAMP folder on our C drive and go to our PHP folder. And as you can see, here is our pair folder. What we need to do is go to the pair website and go get the pair.php file. So we got to save that to the folder that we were just in and put .php. And we downloaded it, it's there. Open up our command prompt. Copy our path. Go back and copy this little line of code right here. and there we go let's continue continue yes and as you can see it's gonna go ahead and load everything uh, load pair back on it back in the system and we did make some mistakes and just to, while this is doing this um, let's go ahead and yes we're gonna alter the INI file press continue and we have pair loaded um, just to check make sure everything is up to date pair is up to date so let's go ahead and make sure we have all the commands we have all the commands here uh, let's go ahead and we have to install this particular package right here because this package is critical with, uh, when used with the uh, structures data grid and this is not installed on the system for whatever reason um, when pair is installed um, that's the MBD2 driver and then what we have to do is install this MySQL uh, package right here uh, data source driver so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and copy this come here type PEAR install press paste and that driver is installed um, and what we can go ahead and do
is install the other database drivers for the data grid data source drivers for the data grid excuse me as you can see it doesn't take that long for them to install go ahead and install the other ones as you can see those are installing also install these as you can see those are finishing up installing downloading and installing Finally, oh, yeah. let's install these. And after all this is done installing, what we need to do is we need to go back to our pair folder. We need to click on the environmentals so that make sure that that's installed into our system. Then we need to go to our PHP INI file and as you can see down here we have this include path added by pair need to copy that also go up to error reporting and change the error reporting from all to notice and what we want to do is go ahead and save that and we want to go over here to our PHP INI file in our Apache server. We want to paste that code that we just had that we got from the other INI file, uh, which is in, P in the PHP folder. And we want to go ahead and save this. Go up to error reporting. Change this to notice. save it get out of that and then we have to restart the server so let's go ahead and restart the server and that should do it so let's go ahead and open up uh, the, the last example that we had which was the default page which had the uh, information on the structures data grid let's get rid of this right here and this is the same code that is on the structures data uh, that's on the pair site for the structures data grid if we go and look um, go down to structures data grid go into documentation and we look into the quick example this is the same code except for they don't have they have require here but you're supposed to have require once so if we go to the WAMP server go to the samples we refresh everything go to samples default Oh, we're still getting there is something that we're not doing right got that PHP INI file let me pause this so we don't run out of time okay we're back uh, what we didn't have was the HT the structures data grid renderer HTML table if we look at a uh, problem it says uh, unknown unknown render driver please specify an existing driver and if we go back to our code it says the uh, the, the default uh, render is the HTML table so we need that so if we refresh this boom there we go so that's it and um, I'm gonna go over some other things in the in the preceding video but we corrected the problem so we had to restart the server we had to correct the problems in the INI file and here we go we have our table here in uh, the WAMP server so thank you and we'll see you in the next video